Welcome to Goodnight Robin, your someone to say goodnight to. I'm your host, Robin Rice. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Performance Tea. They make amazing, all-natural, plant-based, adaptogenic tea blends designed to support health and well-being. Performance Tea herbal blends come in an instant powder format, and its magic comes from the adaptogens they use, aka super herbs, that have the remarkable ability to improve the body's capacity to adapt to stress. And we all know stress can get in the way of a good night's sleep. Their snooze blend, which I love, combines the calming herbs of passion flower, chamomile, and spearmint, another one of my favorites, to help put the body in a calm state and get the parasympathetic nervous system back in order and us ready to sleep. Add a soothing good night from me and you will get an amazing night of sleep. Tonight, I want to tell you an interesting story. It's about a young girl who is only 14 years old, and she has helped to grow her own food, learned to grow her own food, and built 11 cabins to help the homeless. Her name is Haley, and she started growing it when she was six years old, and uh, that was eight years ago. And her mom and her had gone to the grocery store, and they met this homeless guy named Edward. He was roaming the streets and had not been eating for a long time. And the then six-year-old girl begged her mother to buy a sandwich. And they said, sure, they would do that, even though they couldn't help everyone because they didn't come from a rich family. And she decided she would learn to grow food. So she figured it out. She took her own yard. She grew some food in there, and started feeding the homeless. And one of her first bags went to that very homeless man, her first bags of food. I don't know. They say little kids will lead the way. I don't know that every little kid could do that. I don't know that they need to. But man, what a gift to say, you know what? This matters to me, and I'm going to do something. You know, I talk a lot about doing something small here, something that you can do. Every one of us can do something. I found out recently that there's a nearby school that's having challenges with a couple of kids that are still hungry when they go to school. And so I thought, well, I could help with that. And it's a unique school. So they were concerned about maybe how they could figure out how to make sure that it didn't make it look like this person was, or these people that were needing the food were getting a handout. And so I put my noodle to it and thought about it. And I said, you know what? I have an idea. I mean, it's my job to think with people, right? That's what I do all day. So why couldn't I think about this? And I was able to create a solution and voila, there we go. We had a solution. We can do what we do and apply it to so many needs that are in the world. It's so exciting to think of that. And this young girl, she didn't even know how to grow food. And there she is with like bags of sweet peas and blueberries that she can give away. And she does. It's really exciting. And her little garden is now a big garden. And I'm sure she would love to have enough for everybody. In any event, I'm just really happy when I read these things. As you know, I look for them on the internet so that I can share them with you but you can look for them too. Everybody can look for them. Everybody can look for the good stuff. We have good hearts. We have a will to make things happen. And when we have those two put together, we're unstoppable. Maybe we won't change everything in the world, but golly, we can change something. Anyway, that's what I was thinking about tonight and just really so grateful that we can share this good news with you. Because if we share it with you, maybe you'll share it with others. You know there's always a link in the show notes. Go ahead, share it on social media. Super easy, super good if you're on social media. And even if that's not the right thing for you to do, there's something that you can do. One good thing can change someone's day and can change yours. It's a thought anyway. I am thinking about you, my friends. I hope you have a beautiful night's sleep. Good night.